It's been a Hollywood plot line for decades, but could we one day have the chance to live forever? A lab in Arizona is giving it a try. They say you can freeze your body after death to preserve it and possibly bring you back to life in the future. Reporter Jason Valentine takes us inside the lab where science fiction meets reality. Each one of these containers is filled with bodies. Legally, they're dead, but the people here say they're all just people waiting to continue life, maybe a decade, several decades, or a hundred years from now. What the? <laughs> Frozen for centuries and reanimated, the idea has captivated Hollywood science fiction for years. In Scottsdale, Alcor Cryonics is quite real. What we're offering is the chance, and only a chance, to actually come back and have an indefinite lifespan. It could be hundreds of years, it could be thousands of years. Alcor CEO Max Moore believes death is arbitrary. People who were dead in 1950, because um, we didn't know what else to do, today we routinely bring back to life. We do CPR, sure. defibrillation. So were they really dead? Moore is betting that future tech can defeat death by reversing the thing that killed you in the first place. The trick is preserving the body until that far off time. By the time we finish our procedure, they won't be alive because there won't be any metabolism, there won't be any function, but nor are they dead. Uh, this is the super duo. Alcor has 152 bodies living in groups of four stored at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit in these stainless steel vats filled with liquid nitrogen. Their most famous, the head of Boston baseball slugger Ted Williams. But most are just average people. There's a picture on this one. Yes, we don't normally identify who's in which duo, but in this case, the family from Thailand came and put this picture up. Cryopreservation has plenty of critics, people who say it won't work. But Moore points out the tech is already in use. Fertility doctors freeze eggs or sperm for future use. Reanimating entire humans, however, if at all possible, is a long way off. My best guess is somewhere between 75 and 100 or so years. But that's very vague and very uncertain. Here's the deal, freezing the eggs or the sperm, you're not freezing something that has died. Right. Once it dies, that's it. Whole different process. Did yeah. you catch Ted Williams? The what? Ted Williams. Oh. He said Ted Williams' head. Yeah, I heard about that. Is there. Yeah. Okay. I, I have no more words, but right. the, I heard that and thought, oh, San Diego.